Sources claim that the iPhone 11 and 11 Max won't be as ugly as many of the dummy units make it seem. The Huawei Mate X just got certified and apparently it's ready to launch, coming very soon. And it seems that scammers have found a way to extort iPhone users through an interesting trick that you should all be aware about. I'm Jaime Rivera and yesterday is a very sad day. Our condolences go out to all the families of those affected by the Kyoto animation fires. This is Parking Out Daily. The official news today begin with deals. If you're in the market for the Nintendo Switch, you do know that it's going to get updated soon. But still, if you want to grab it right now, the original Switch is currently 265 bucks on a Newegg's eBay store. Uh, yeah, I know, it's just 30-something dollars in discount. Uh, you can also get something similar at Amazon where you're getting it for the same price, but then you get a $30 gift card. Whatever the case may be, both options are in the link in the description. Now let's talk about a very interesting problem that's happening right now for iPhone users that are being scammed through their iCloud. Beware, right now there are scammers from Singapore and other parts of Asia that are using Facebook to invite users to become of this free beta testing gaming thing. And the thing about it is when you log on, they ask for your name and your iCloud. And uh, using that, what they do is they pretty much take over your iCloud. They lock your iPhone. And then if you want to unlock it, they scam you and they extort you for money in order to be able to do so. The biggest problem is that, well, your iCloud is enough for your phone to be rendered useless. So buyers beware, guys, do not participate in this. It seems that Apple support can help you if you're going through that problem right now. Let us know in the comments. This is really sad. I mean, Facebook is shady on its own, so I would recommend, I mean, come on, man, free game beta testing and then they ask for your iCloud. That's just not right. Now let's talk about Nokia and a very recent development, and we're trying to ensure that it's actually Nokia. Think about it as we've got some leaked images of a feature phone that's running Android, or we assume that it's Android, or these are Google apps running on a feature OS. I mean, we've been covering rumors of the possibility of Google launching a competitor to KaiOS, which is the feature phone operating system that's most popular right now. But apparently this leak shows us, I mean, Chrome, it seems that other Google services are working, which could be either there are two things. Either it's Google Apps working on this or it's actually Android, a forked version or some sort of version of Android that works on these feature phones that has Google services. Whatever the case may be, obviously, you know, it's, it's interesting to find feature phones today, but my God, that market is huge in certain countries still. Nokia is being benefited by this, so it would make sense for Nokia, which is currently the biggest Android One supplier, I believe, to, you know, take on another challenge. We'll see. Now, for those of you that are still wondering about the Galaxy Fold, um, you know, it's so sad to see how much this product has lost buzz. The last time that we covered it was, I don't know how long ago. We still don't have dates for you, but the thing about it is apparently uh, Samsung sent this to the Korean University for testing. Apparently it passed that test, and this was the last test that they were waiting for in order to be able to consider this product ready for prime time. Uh, so this happened just a few days ago, so we're not exactly sure if you're getting this product soon, because we heard that the unpacked event that we're going to is not going to feature the Fold. So I don't know, we'll keep you posted. We'll come prepared with camera gear and everything in case we actually do get a product. And since we're talking about foldables, let's talk about the Huawei Mate X. That's another product that we don't know exactly when we're getting, but the thing about it is it just got certified. We've got final specifications, and it seems to pack a Kirin 980 processor, an eight inch foldable OLED display that's 6.6 .6 inches when folded, a 40 megapixel main sensor along with an eight megapixel telephoto and a 16 megapixel ultra wide in addition to the time of flight sensor. It will have 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of expandable storage, all for the cool price of the $2,300 or euros which apparently is not changing. So yeah, stay tuned. We heard August as a possible launch. We'll see. And finally, the hottest news today, or developments, should we say, have to do with the iPhone 11 and all the dummies that are out there right now. We've seen a couple of videos. Marquez's is probably the most popular right now where we see what the iPhone 11 looks like uh, according to the recent dummy leaks. The interesting part is when we get leakers like Ben Geskin, who is like, you know what? This looks close, but it's not exactly quite the final design that we're expecting. 
apparently there is some insider information that the inside of the camera is not going to be black, that apparently it will be, to a certain degree, the same color of the chassis. Uh, and so he uses Marquez's video as a, an overlay and shows how it should look in the final design, meaning what we're seeing currently in the dummies is not exactly what we're getting. So, you know, in today's question, we've got an interesting one. I mean, think about it. If the design would be the camera colored as the chassis or not, which one would you prefer? Uh, look at both images, think about which one is your favorite so far, and come on iPhone haters, don't say none, pick one, the black cover or the colored cover? Because in my case, honestly, the color that matches the chassis is growing on me, particularly on the black variant, but uh, that's just me, and I'm hoping that the hammer hump is also as small as we've seen from his leaks. I mean, Ben Geskin. Uh, I'm hoping that's the case, but we would love to know what you think in the comments down below. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram, and here are my personal handles as well for those of you who want to follow me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the recap.